This spot where I'm standing isn't far from Billings, about 20, 25 miles, but you'll likely never come upon it. And that's what the landowners and country's best scientists would prefer because these hills have some of the world's oldest and most sought after treasures buried in them, including one that was recently sold for over $12 million. Quarter mile that way. And there's dinosaurs that way and dinosaurs that way and dinosaurs that way. Most people wouldn't be so nonchalant about that, but Les Keebler has been around dinosaurs almost all his life. I sat down, ate my lunch. I was sitting right next to it. This dinosaur bone is this big. Les's grandfather began homesteading on this piece of property in Carbon County over a hundred years ago, but it was his dad who was fascinated by paleontology. Doesn't fit. One time he pulled a big dinosaur bone and set it out on the patio in town. It wasn't too long before his back was turned and my mother threw it in the garbage can and got rid of it. Luckily, several impressive finds still remain. This foot is one of Les's most prized possessions, originally found on the family property by a University of Oklahoma professor who was looking for something different. He asked my dad if he could come out here and look for prehistoric mice. And then dinosaurs were getting in his way all the time. The professor did eventually find his mouse and named it after the Keebler family. And that's important. They want you to know, donate him rather than keep him. And they have to pay off somehow. This partial Tenontosaurus is currently on display at the Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman after Keebler decided to donate it. And yes, he's received full credit. But private collectors will pay in cash. And nowadays, lots of it. There's two different systems and they don't like each other. About 10 years ago, the most complete Deinonychus skeleton in existence was found on Les's neighbor's property. The dinosaur, nicknamed Hector, was the inspiration for the Velociraptor in Jurassic Park and smashed estimates by selling for $12.4 million at Christie's auction house last month. Scientists say it's a disastrous trend, pricing museums out and keeping these finds from the public. That particular owner has went privatization. He started out with the academics with us. And then he found a dinosaur and he go sell it. We aren't disclosing exactly where this land is because Keebler says there have been a number of thieves steal fossils over the years. Called a bone field. Because of some of the theft and stuff going on, I've just disallowed the privateers to come on. But I don't have anything against what he did. I might do it myself. For Les, he's happy to spend his days searching for something out of place and see if an amateur geologist might just find something extraordinary. Near Billings, Casey Conlon, MTN News.